Hello and welcome to Nirmal Ram, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hirol Dadia. We have with us Kunal Shah, Head of Commodities Research, joining me. Uh, Kunal, let's start the conversation with what's happening in the base metals. Uh, if you talk about the base metals uh, on LME as well as Shanghai as well, the prices were pretty much on divergent paths today. Uh, there was some bit of weakness that we saw, especially with regards to where copper goes. What's the sense that you're picking up? Okay, uh, so first of all, in base metal, uh, we uh, thought that it will go up 515, 520 kind of level. 513, 14 copper tested and it is again down. So, right. interesting thing is happening in copper that the near month contract on MCX uh, is trading at 507 and the far month contract is trading at 500 rupees. So, the far month contract is at a backwardation of 7 rupees. So, this is an indication that. Uh, 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 the the hedgers are expecting that some price correction can take place, and hence uh, gold, uh, copper, uh, the near month uh, only two to three days left, and after that you will see you will uh, see the near month contract entering into into the delivery intention period. So far month contract, I believe that uh, the way U.S. and China uh, again uh, have started to uh, so U.S. is basically ordered uh, one of the Chinese embassy to get close and China has done the same. China has ordered that one of US embassy from Chengdu in China, it should get close. So some this kind of tension is not good for metals uh, sentimentally. So my broader theme is uh, very bullish, but uh, the farman contract, which is trading at 500 rupees, one can short that uh, around 501, 502. Put a stop loss of 505.50 and expect it to go down and test levels of 493 to 492. So I'm expecting this kind of move not because of the fundamental change, but the fact is that this US China tension will definitely keep some bit of uh, uh, profit taking and some selling also in fresh selling also in uh, this kind of metal. So for the day, I'm expecting some, some selling to take place, but uh, on a broad scale, I'm very bullish. So no, uh, please keep a very strict stop loss. Right, so that's coming in with regards to where base metals go. Uh, if you have to talk about gold as well as uh, silver as well, we do see some of the selling pressure in terms of silver. Gold has continued to you know, rise for the sixth consecutive session. But do you think we could see some bit of profit booking in terms of gold as well? Yeah, so uh, the thing is that it has risen so much uh, uh, in a short span of time, we've seen this kind of uh, upside. So I think uh, it will definitely going to witness some profit taking and we are going to see some bit of uh, 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 profit taking to take place. But yeah, so we are recommending, you know, uh, uh, you are asking for crude, right? No, we've been talking about gold as well as silver. Yeah, so we can see some bit of profit taking. Uh, uh, today is a Friday. We've seen a straight five days of upside. Uh, so today evening, I'm not expecting any fireworks. Uh, it can go down today, uh, but the trend is not bearish. So I would recommend, you know, uh, technically uh, we see any upside from here. One should book profits uh, or perhaps short. So silver, you can short around 61,450, 500. Gold also, you can go short around 50,000. Uh, 850 to 900 and expect it to go down but the trend is not bearish so uh, please uh, 150 rupees stop loss in gold 300 350 rupees stop loss in silver nothing more than that if you are going short and when you are making 500 rupees on silver or 2 300 rupees on gold book your profits because uh, fundamentals are not bearish at all but today evening you can i am expecting i am clearly saying i am expecting some profit taking it's friday five days we had a great bull run so today you may see some profit taking. Right. And, and if you have to look at crude as well, what's the strategy that you would uh, recommend right now? For crude also, I would recommend to short because uh, uh, this US China tension is definitely going to sentimentally impact. I don't know what the what are the statements which are going to come to, uh, tonight, but uh, I think they are going to affect on the prices of crude oil. So I will recommend to go short in crude oil. Uh, 3040, 3050, uh, and I, I think one should expect it to go down to 2990 and uh, stop loss should be kept at 3105. Right. And Kunal, there's a query coming in with regards to which platform we could see the daily uh, basic strategies on the commodity market because the whole scenario has changed in a week. 
uh, you come in the webinar, please advise. Okay, so we do a webinar three times uh, uh, during the week. Uh, so that is on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But like you are right, the the entire strategy there is no website available. So basically, you look at the. So what I do here is uh, I look at the Bloomberg CNBC website. Market Watch is one of the websites uh, and the app which I follow. So what is happening on the data front? How is the U.S. bond yields are behaving? How is the U.S. dollar behaving? So all these, you know, you have to keep uh, watching an eye. So for example, today evening dollar rises by half a percent. Then you will see correction in gold and silver. So if the data comes very bullish, then stronger dollar leads to correction in gold and silver. So uh, these are the couple of platforms, CNBC International, Bloomberg International, uh, Market Watch International. These are some of the platforms, you know, you can follow uh, what's going on. So you can add the entire uh, uh, US bonds, US currency, dollar index, gold, silver, what is happening, metals, LME, and metal stocks. So you can have a fair bit of correlations taking place and then you can act on it. Right. So that's the strategy that we need to uh, watch out for. And these are, you know, uh, platforms where you will be getting, uh, as Kunal mentioned. Uh, I don't think so there are any queries coming in Kunal right now. So thank you so much for joining no, I think uh, there is a query. Uh, sir, my, one of my clients is having sell position in copper, copper. around 480. Uh, is there a chance he will give uh, get this rate? So I know this rate expiry not possible. No, it looks uh, very difficult 480 uh, until and unless there is this full retaliation of uh, trade sanctions by US and China to each other. Otherwise difficult. But I would recommend you, you know, you can tell him that the uh, he can roll over this position short, even if it is a backwardation, and he can expect some bit of correction in near a month. So either remain short or either he can roll over and expect prices to go down because the near month contract uh, after two days it will lose liquidity. It will gradually the liquidity become very dry. So my recommendation is that uh, sell far month contract and wait for the downside. Uh, of uh, 8 to 10 rupees maximum 490 kind of levels you will get at that time you tell him to exit or contact me right so that's the reply coming in uh, with regards to where copper is concerned so that's the only query that we have to now thank you so much and happy weekend to everyone okay there is one more query sorry uh sorry. you telling uh you tell buying silver levels of 59 but it has not come to uh, come your target Okay, I, I give a rough idea. So I don't know who is this uh, 931372, but I give a rough idea. Okay, I'm not predicting, uh, I'm not saying that it will come to 50. What I said in the last webinar that if the there is a, spy, a hike in margins by comics, then it can correct. So I was not saying that it will come to 50 or 7,000, then only buy. So that was not, I meant, I meant it that if there is a spike in margin, then definitely you can uh, see some bit of correction. So uh, don't misquote me here. And uh, Mr. Bhavani is asking, what about other metals like zinc, copper? So Mr. Bhavani, I think zinc is also fundamentally very bullish. Uh, the way uh, production has been lost in copper, even a lot of zinc mines have uh, closed right now. So when this uh, US-China trade tension again resurfaces because of this, so I think in uh, next one or two days and today's evening, it can remain subdued. It can go down by three, four rupees, but uh, the trend is not bearish. So copper, eight, 10 rupees maximum downside, zinc, three, four rupees downside. I can, I would recommend you for evening uh, session, you can remain short, but uh, fun positionally it is still not looking bearish. Right. And Kunal, anything about RMC futures? That's another query. Yeah, so RMC uh, already uh, we have seen good correction taking place, but going forward, the other oil seeds are going to remain buoyant. So I'm going, I'm not recommending uh, to go short in RMC and uh, a decline of 50, 60 rupees or at current levels. Also, you can buy some bit of small quantity and expect prices to, you know, go up in ne uh, next week. And so that's with regards to where RMC is concerned. I think I'm hoping that's the last query. Uh, for the day right now. So thank you so much for now. Thank you everyone and happy weekend to all.